The next step is being able to predict what they are going to view next. What would they watch next? Um, and this is a good test. How do I know that I have a good awareness of my kids' activities online? How do I test that? What is the litmus test? How do I, how do I assess how well I know what my kids are doing online? One way that I'd recommend is guess, predict what your kids are going to watch next. Because if you can get a sense of where they might go next, or if you can even direct them to what they should watch next in order to further their goal, then you, you already have a very deep understanding of your kids, right? It's not YouTube that, that knows what your kids are going to watch next by suggesting it. It's you. you. You know, like once you know this interest well enough, you'd be able to point to them to stuff. And if they watch it and they say, wow, that was really cool. Like I did want to learn more about that. Then you know you are very closely aligned to their interests. Uh, give you an example. So my kids were really into Star Wars, like really into Star Wars. And, you know, I kind of figured you know, I, there's kind of a sequence of stuff that I'm going to watch with them. I'm going to start with episode four and then I'm going to kind of go from there and learn more. But I knew that, well, they're also going to be interested in other things. They're also going to be interested in they're really interested in Lego. So they're going to be interested in the intersection between Lego and that. So they, there were certain videos that I could recommend about how to build Lego Star Wars. Then there was also other interests about like diving deeper into the story. Like what are the different breakdowns and stuff related to them? And we discovered new rock stars, right? Eric Voss. And he, he does a great job explaining like, this is what this means. And let me go and translate all the Orbesh for you. And he goes into a level of depth that we can't do by ourselves. So we are anticipating and predicting wh what they are going to be able to or be interested in watching next. So much so that I'm actually going out and watching it with them, or I'm going and searching it for them. I'm going, hmm, okay, so you're really interested in this. How could I go further, right? What would be the next thing that you would want to watch? How can I predict, not only predict, but potentially influence the things that you watch next to go deeper? Uh, sometimes I'll even go, well, you know, what do you want to learn about today? And they'll, they'll say like, oh, I really want to learn about Mandalorian armor. And I'm like, oh my God, as a parent, I have no, I know nothing. <laughs> I know nothing about this topic. So how am I going to find out about it? So I'm, I'm searching on, you know, on Google and I'm trying to find out, okay, tell me more about, about this. Like, what can I know about this? And, and it just like this whole backstory, when we were watching The Mandalorian, I, I had never seen Clone Wars and realized that, wow, there is all of this content that is completely related to, to this story. And to really go deep, I have to do a lot of research myself. I have to predict. I have to predict what their next view would be. And so this is a strong way. This is a strong litmus test to see how well you know they're in. We can say like, yeah, I totally know. They're really into, into Roblox. Great. So what are they going to watch next in terms of Roblox? What's going to bring them to the next level? Do you know? What level of Roblox are they? Like, what, kind, what are they trying to do with Roblox? And that's where we get to, to go in a little bit deeper into their interests. So relating is not just going, oh, they're just interested in a topic. That's level one, showing that, yep. I'm interested. Level two is, hmm, well, if they're interested in this, I, I think they would be interested in these other things. I remember seeing this at um, the YouTube VidCon conference. So this is the biggest conference uh, that is related to YouTube in the world. Happens in California every year, uh, except like obviously this year it's gone online. And what happened in this conference is there were a number of adults that I was like, Hey, what are you doing here? Like, I was like the oldest person there. I was like, what, what is going on? Like I, I was running a YouTube channel uh, at the time and, 
uh, it was just, it was interesting to see. It's like, you're not running a YouTube channel, are you? It's like, no, I'm not running a YouTube channel, speaking to other parents. And they were saying, well, I'm, I'm here because my son is really interested in starting a YouTube channel. And I, I want to support him. See, they're predicting. They're predicting what their kid is going to watch next. They are predicting the next step. And that is very, very exciting. Because when you have that, you have a very deep level of connection. Because you're going to be able to anticipate what they would potentially watch next. And then if something happens, you will also be able to anticipate how you would react to it or how you might respond. And so things are going to catch you way less at surprise. You're going to be way less surprised about what happens when you have that level of connection. Now, I know it's not easy, but just think about it, right? Like the grandparents do this all the time. They ask, like, what is it that you really like, right? Oh, you really like candy? Okay, I'll get you more candy. Like, this is the same thing. <laughs> this is exactly the same thing. They're just showing an interest. Or maybe you really like this kind of toy. Like, what kind of toy? What do you mean by toy? And they're trying to predict what your kids are going to play with next so that they can go to the store and pick it up and buy it. it it's not all that different from that. So that's interesting. That's interesting. It's just the, it's the same thing just happening online. <laughs> predicting what they're going to view next. Predicting and potentially influencing what they're going to view next is extremely important if you want to assess how, to what extent do you understand. Um, you know, I've heard parents say like, oh, my, my kid is really into League of Legends. Okay, great. What are they trying to accomplish in League of Legends? What's the next step for them in League of Legends? Are they really trying to get into a guild? Are they really trying to uh, reach some kind of level? Uh, is there certain people that they're trying to meet in this that they, they really want to be a part of their social circle? Do you know who those people are? Is there something else that could lead them towards that goal? Maybe that doesn't even involve, involve screens. I mean, if you really want them to uh, not use screen time, you hit them with their interests in something that doesn't relate to screen time, they're going to be happy to do it. They're going to be like, yes. Sign me up. I don't want to be on a screen all the time either. Right? Like, we think that, oh, all they want to do is just be on the screen. No. No, there's a reason they're on that screen. And if we know what that reason is, we will be able to find a way off screen uh, for them to participate. You know, for my son, it could be, well, you want to learn about Mando armor? I'm going to do a circle time. I'm going to write things down on a, on a whiteboard, and we're going to talk about it. And you're going to draw what your like what would your ideal mandalorian armor look like what would be the special things that you would the gadgets that you would add onto your armor and sometimes it's even an opportunity to talk about like how do electronics work and how do like how would they have all these different pieces together how do we protect electronics that's all very interesting stuff there's some interesting interesting topics there right like the beskar armor yeah but it's not just armor like that protects the person it protects the electronics as well there's a lot of gadgets in there. So uh, it's kind of a cool topic to talk about. So predicting, predicting what they're going to view next or what their, their, their interests, their next step would be is very, very important. Because once you have that, you have an immediate feedback. It's an it's a input feedback loop of what are they going to value? 